Growing up in Canada, you know, ice hockey is the biggest sport. So as soon as you're able to walk, they strap a pair of skates on you. And pretty much from about the age of two until you basically quit hockey, you're playing ice hockey year round. In the summer, there's a bit of off season. So I started playing rugby in my teenage years just as something to stay fit in the off season and give me something to do in the summer. But then I quickly fell in love with rugby and since about 16, it's been my main sport ever since and I've trained for that year round. Growing up, there was no pressure on me to play one particular sport. My parents just said, have fun, play as many sports as you can. And it really allowed me to, you know, find the sport I love and pursue that. Basically, I had a few caps for Canada, Plymouth Albion gave me a call because there was a couple other Canadians playing there at the time. They offered me a contract and I jumped at the opportunity to play it on a professional basis and to, to have it as my job. And from Plymouth, I just love the Southwest so much, came down even further to the Pirates. It's tough being a club captain to be named it. It's, it's a real honor. There's some great club captains that have captained the side in the, in the past, and there's some great players that have played for the Pirates, so it's, it's really honoring to be mentioned as in some of the same group of players. He's a great guy. Yeah, he's, he's, a, he's a very honest, hard-working bloke, and he's, a, he's quite a serious teammate. He's a man you want in the trenches, 100%. He does all the work that people won't see in a game. He hits the rucks, you know, makes the tackles, and he, he completely runs the lineup. And people won't see Brett run 30 metres, but you know, as, as, as a teammate, you, know, you, you really appreciate what he brings. To be fair to him, he does run a very tight ship. He's very, he's very honest in what, in what he wants and how he wants to go about it, you know, which is fine by me. The highlight of my career so far. It was a pretty surreal experience, you know, it, it was a huge deal because it was in England. I would say it'd be the pinnacle of your career and I, as a rugby player because it's such a huge competition and it's worldwide. Everyone, for the most part, watches it or knows about it and I think it's the third biggest sporting event in the world. Again, it's, it's just a fantastic experience. Qualification, it took a bit longer uh, this time around. It's a big pressure situation, you know, a lot's riding on that World Cup spot. I think a lot of us felt that stress, not only with our careers and what we wanted to achieve through them by playing in another World Cup, but for the future of rugby in Canada, we knew it was high stakes. We had to qualify in order to enhance the future of rugby in Canada. Then with the last chance at the repechage, we knew is our last opportunity. We had to leave it all out there. And through hard work, it paid off. Everyone's faces by then, you could tell we were relieved. We were so happy that we, we finally booked our spot to the World Cup. Just to finally qualify, there's a huge relief off our shoulders. And the enjoyment after that final whistle of blue was, was really uh, something else. They have booked their place at the Rugby World Cup 2019 in Japan.